What's up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels, back with more diecast, and today we're gonna be unboxing two of Hot Wheels' newest Silver Line series. We have the Hot Wheels J Imports, a whole line of JDM Japanese vehicles, and we also have the first wave of the 2024 Batman vehicles. So this line is out of 20, which means through the whole year of 2024, they'll be releasing 20 Batmobiles or 20 Bat-themed vehicles. Where the JDM series, the J Imports, that is only out of five, so that is like a single series. There won't be any more released, as far as I know, this year. So the cool things about this line, if you're not familiar with them or haven't been able to keep up, or if you are keeping up, you already know this, uh, the Silver Line is a mid-tier series that Hot Wheels introduced this year that have unique card art, this new silver graphic, and they also have good wheels and some, just like the CRX right here, have a metal chassis. So you're getting what is essentially a premium casting, a $7 casting without real riders. That's really what it is. These have plastic tires and some have plastic chassis, but other than that, they're very detailed. I really like this line. Um, I think they're more enjoyable to collect than the premiums because I've been let down less times in the premiums. I've unboxed uh, both Fast and the Furious series, the Fast and the Furious Hot Wheels, Decades of Fast, and the Women of Fast series, both of them, Excellent tampos. I mean, just the quality of these cars is really nice. And I like the card art. Are they worth $4? Uh, I don't know. But to me, they're a better buy than the premiums because you get almost the premium package um, for just a little bit cheaper. So the big complaint I have about this line in general and all of Hot Wheels is that I can only find partial sets. So what do you do when you're trying to collect all five of these and you can't find the whole set? So we have what? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think six different Silver Lines have come out so far this year, or Silver Line series. The first one was this Hot Wagons. It had five cars in it. Um, a buddy at Dayton Diecast on Instagram, check out his page. He makes the little uh, jammer case dividers that are super helpful. He is a local collector buddy of mine. We're in like a little die cast group together. So whenever people go to the store, usually they're like texting pictures like, hey, I found this. Do you need this? It's been a huge help. I highly suggest hooking up with some collectors in your area so that you get of like a buddy group of collectors because A, it's more enjoyable and B, it does help you hunt stuff down. So um, even with his help, I found none of, I mean, I didn't even find any of these. I found none of these in stores. He's found these for me and I'm missing two. So the same thing happened um, with the Porsche set. He was able to find three of the six for me. And then he bought a case at the local um, die cast show and he had these extra. So I went ahead and bought those from him too. So these are all new. These are at the stores right now, the Porsche and the Corvette or the Corvette, the vintage racing, if you ever even see them. Um, but what now I'm kind of stuck. So I've spent the money on these. These are $4 each roughly. So four, eight, 12. I have $12 here and I'm missing half of them. One of them is technically a chase. You can debate that on your own time. I, I can't figure it out. People say it's a chase. Some people don't. I don't know. Um, but then you're probably going to pay at least 10 to $15 for each of these off eBay shipped. Plus let's say 25 for the chase. You're already at like 60 some dollars for this set. Should I have just said, no, I'm going to pass on these, save the money, and then spent $60 on the whole set on eBay? I don't know. That's like really hard because when you find these in stores, you don't want to pass them up because they are such good looking cars. And then if you do come across the rest, you're like, oh, score. I have them all. I just paid retail for them. That's a win. But like these, the uh, hot wagons, these have come and gone. Like they're not at the store anymore. I will never find the rest of the set in store. So now I'm stuck paying eBay prices for the Nova and the Datsun wagon, which sucks because then it's going to put these at an even higher cost when they're already, uh, what, triple the price of a regular mainline. Other than that, this line is so kick-ass. Seriously, these cars look excellent. Like look at the Porsche, look at the wheels on there. Just, they have great wheels. They have great presentation with the packaging. I am a huge fan of this line. I would rather collect these lines than some premiums, like I was saying, because I've been so disappointed with the paint quality of premiums lately, and rubber tires don't roll as well as the plastic. So if you're into rolling them, this is definitely the way to go. So I'm really excited to open these, and I can't mess up because I only have one set of these. I'm not going to buy another, so i got to film this right the first time. So um, we'll go ahead and check out the Japanese line or the J Imports line. So there is five cars here. There is no chase. Some of these have chases. 
I don't know why they've started doing that. Um, the big discussion was the Porsche one, the Porsche 914 6 up there. It's a normal part of the set, but people are saying it's a chase. Lamely said it was a chase. Mattel said it was a chase, but it's on the card. Usually, like, a chase is, like, you know, the black car culture premium. They're zero of five. That's a chase. They're not included in the regular series because there's a difference between a short packed car where there's only one per case or zero per case. Um, then it is actually a unique chase vehicle like the black chases or super treasure hunt. To me, that says chase. A regular short pack card is not a chase. So that's just my thought on it or my opinion. You can let me know your thoughts um, down below in the comments because I'm always interested in hearing what you guys have to say. So First one, the 68 Mazda Cosmo Sport. This is such a cool casting. The wheels look great on it. I like the orange paint. Next up, the Skyline 2000 GTX. This is such a cool casting. This is the older casting, the original of uh, this that has the um, covered up headlights and the oil cooler out front. They did a new version, the non-race version, in the Fast and the Furious line recently at the end of 23. Um, but that's the OG of that casting that was released in the mid-2010s, I believe. Um, next up, we have the 81 Toyota Starlet KP61, and this is a metal chassis car, which is super cool. Um, this has been used, I think, twice so far in the premium series, but it's cool to see it in this, like, kind of basic line next up 85 honda crx this is such a cool paint scheme that i'm going to say it wrong motul motel i can't ever say stuff wrong or right i always say stuff wrong so um this one looks good also check out that metal base so so cool and last up we have the Acura. oh snap okay the nsx in a beautiful blue color um, this one has a little bit of a hiccup, I can already tell, on the uh, Tampos on the side, but it does have those new style wheels, but a really good looking car. Tampos all around. I'm excited to open up that one. And then for the Batman series, I know these aren't everyone's things, but these are pretty cool this year. So they've introduced the new wheels to this line as well. So there we have the like, I don't know what you call those cross wheels, X wheels. I don't know what their name is technically, um, but it looks cool on the Batmobile. Then we have the Batwing. This is the first time we're getting this casting outside of the premium line. And it is, as far as I know, no different from the premium. So this was released back for, what, Batman vs. Superman in 2000. Oh, man, was that 14 or 16? It was a while ago. Um, but this comes with a really nice, like, Batman logoed stand, the same one from the premium. So it's very cool to see this car in the $3 range because it is technically a $7 car packed away in this package. Next up, the Batmobile from the new Batman movie. Another thing about this one, check this out metal base there are two versions of this car there is a mainline version with a plastic base but no they put the premium metal base version in this line which is super cool because other than the rubber wheels this is the uh expensive casting so you're getting a seven dollar car just with a wheel swap that's pretty much it so definitely in my opinion worth the four dollars on that one next up we have the solid muscle this is a fantasy casting based on robin and a lot of the cars in this line um some of them are fantasy castings that are like themed to a certain character like robin penguin catwoman whatever but they do slide things like this in, the Ford Fusion, the Gotham City PD, which is pretty cool. It definitely looks too good for a police car, in my opinion. Like, this is a nice car. It's got those, again, those, like, X-shaped wheels. And Tampos, look at that, full Tampos all the way around. Insane. That's such a good deal. I wish the they came like this for the dollar price point, but I understand this is not... It's a climate wherein the four dollars is, or the whatever three seventy five that they actually are, is basically where we're at on the price point. So well, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the J imports. I hate to bust the like even bust the packaging on this because they're so beautiful. The card art looks so nice. It looks like an old, like a actual like pastel painting really did a good job on this card art. So there is the back if you want to see. There's the barcode if you want to look it up. Just an excellent line. It's so killer. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, oh, that didn't open too badly. Still ruined it, but the real gold is the car. So let's go ahead and check this out. I'm gonna pull, let me see if I can pull the light a little bit closer. There we go. So it has those like Fuchs style wheels, as I believe how you say it, like on the Porsches. Looks really good. Um, this car does have full tampos. Oh, man. It's got definitely got some big tampo hiccups on the hood. That's never good. Whether you're paying a dollar 
four dollars or seven dollars no car should come like that like that clearly did not pass quality control that looks absolutely terrible which is a bummer because i don't have another one of these so and if i want to get another one i'm gonna have to pay individual ebay scalper prices for them and it's going to suck so um but it does have the nice headlight tampos they're like plat like the glass looking covers not plastic it's got the cosmo it's got the little mazda logo which looks good it i mean look how small it is you can actually see the m but man, that stripe is terrible. That kind of sucks. So um, going down the side, it's got the door handle. It's got the little like, I don't know what that is. The side marker on the top. Just a little embellishment. I don't know. But it does. Oh, it says Mazda. And I don't know what that is. I think that's supposed to be like a some kind of, I don't know if that's a trunk handle or what that is. Uh, but the tampo didn't come off very well. Uh, the taillights are not bad though. They're definitely stamped pad printed tampos. And the stripe on the back is how the front should have looked. So it's got a painted gas cap. It's just a bummer it has that. Man, that's rough. Overall, the car looks great, though. Rolls well. Man, those wheels are nice. Shout out to Hot Wheels for those new wheels. They look really nice. Yeah, I like those. Okay, man, I would say that one's kind of an L because of the, the hood stripe. That's kind of a bummer. So, again... We got it. We got to call Hot Wheels on it. If they're making stuff that isn't up to up to snuff, there, we got to call them out because that's that's not good. Especially as these models get more pricier, they should come with better quality control. So this one looks a lot better. Um, this is the Skyline. Look, look at the tampos on that. Very nice. To me, that's a better tampo because it's a pad printed tampo than the premiums that have that pixelation on them. Look how cool that is. I mean, you can see the Hot Wheels, you can see the little checkered flag. Everything just looks so clear. They absolutely need to get rid of these these tampos right here. Why did they do that? Like, they look so good right there. Like, those old school, like, ink stamp posts, tampos, ink stamped tampos. Oh, my gosh. Say that three times fast. And then you have this trash up front. That's, like, printer style. Looks so bad, especially when you can actually see both of them on the same car like that's just supposed to be like gray and then you go over here and you see how nice they could be overall i'm not disappointed because the what 70 85 percent of the car has the pad printed tampos that look good and then you just have this on the front so and actually i will say on the oil cooler it kind of looks like it has lines on it so that part maybe isn't as bad but the rest of it is trash i don't like to me that looks like a tv that's scrambled it definitely looks like a scrambled TV. So an old, like old school tube TV too. But the wheels are nice. The the five spoke gold wheels. I really like those. Um, this version does not have a roll cage. I know there was a version of this car with a roll cage. I don't know if they've stopped doing that because of costs or whatnot. But overall, as a release, this one is much better um, than the Cosmos in my opinion because it has tampos all around. So you get a fully tampoed car, even though it does have the printer tampos. This car looks great. Like, I mean, this looks premium to me. Other than the fact that it has plastic tires, this is this is like a collector quality die cast to me for $4. This is a good looking car. So definitely win on that one, minus those gross tampos on the front. So let's see what the other tampos look like on these. So this is the Toyota. Is it Starlet or Scarlet? Starlet. Got to make sure I say that right. So um, this came out believe it was in the toyota series two years ago it was purple um with five spoke gold wheels that looked awesome um i only found one of those in stores and i opened it because it looked so good so uh this casting is nice it's so tiny i really like this pale color um those are the printer style tampos but because of the the metal that it's stamped on because it's a metal chassis it comes off a little bit different then the plastic and it actually works here. I don't mind them because it does give some give a little grain, like you're actually looking at a headlight. That I don't mind as much. The stripe looks better on this one. Starlet, like look how good, like super clean the graphics are. Lined up nicely. It's got those five spoke wheels, same wheels as the Skyline here, but just chrome. Really good looking new wheel. Um, and in the back we have it looks like pad printed tampos see there you can see the 
the flaw in the pad printed tampos when they start like the ink starts to get low or they don't get printed exactly it does have a little bit like uh i don't know about that but there it says toyota starlet but it's still i would actually take a little bit of that over that same tampo being the printer style because then you have the little artifacts around it that are very similar to the leak over here and then the tampo doesn't look as good too so if i was going to pick i would want them to look like this over a messed up printer tampo so um that's just me but i think they look better anyway so like even back here i think they look clear but this is a really nice release and it's got some weight to it too because it's a metal on metal really nice casting so I'm, I'm very impressed with this line so far. And I think these are all like, uh, I would say probably the Mazda and maybe the NSX would be the uh, peg warmers here. But really, I don't think there is a peg warmer. I think they're all going to get bought up. But check this out. This looks good. Honda across the window. I mean, the graphics look good. They have a little bleed over because of the ink. But again, I would take that over the printer style tempos because we can see out back here. The printer style tampos are on the taillights and they're bleeding over and it looks gross as well. So would you rather just have a cleaner stamp tampo without that? I would. I mean, I just don't like these tampos. Like the CRX, that's embarrassing. They it, Just like, why can't it look like that? Like, look how nice the Toyo is and that little Honda up there. It's because it's pad stamped. Those printer style ones are ruining these. Man, I hate that. But the, the back here, this tampo is maybe not the cleanest. Yeah, it's it's okay, though. It's not, like, missing. There's not chunks out of it like the uh, Mazda. But overall, this is a pretty decent release. It's got these uh, X wheels on it. Ooh, that looks cool because it looks like it's almost going backwards. And it rolls really well. I haven't tried these on the track yet. Has anyone tried this new silver line on tracks? Um, because they're probably pretty fast. It seems like the wheels are very freewheeling. Very, uh, they like to roll, it seems like, but there is a metal chassis there. Good release. Not bad at all. Again, I covered that um, 995 Porsche RLC. I think this interior has more detail than that $40 car. So again, another win for this line. Um, other Once they get rid of those printer style tampos, they will be unstoppable. For real, this line is incredible. I just wish they would do away with those tampos. So I'm going to keep saying it until they do. I'm going to wish it into existence. Okay, NSX. Look at that. HKS Rays. It's got the X-Style wheels on it as well. It looks good. I think these look good on JDM cars. Um, some of the Euro cars too, I think it looks good. There is a little bit of a hiccup on that NSX on the side. It looks like it was put in the package too uh, quickly or somebody picked it up and touched it because it does have like a little strike through through the S there. Let's look at the rest rest of the car looks good though those are printer or those are pad printed tampos they are not the printer style let's go out back and see so that is a printer style and you can immediately tell look how sharp that yokohama is the acura the hks the rays and then you go right back here and then you get that blurry gross acura on there so i don't know about that one not a fan of that doesn't look good the back of this car actually doesn't look too hot to me it looks very toyish, like there's a lot of flat surfaces in the wing. The wing uprights are super thick, and then the back of the wing is really thick. Like right there, that looks, that does not look very good. But from the side, from the front, not terrible. So overall, again, not a bad release. I don't, just because I don't like how something is designed doesn't make it a bad release. Uh, I think they did a good job with the colors, with the wheels, and the tampos, like if you hold it back here, and you can't really tell as much, like, uh, that angle doesn't look too bad, but not a fan of those tampos. That one didn't roll as good, but it rolls very smooth. I've ran into less cars in this line that have like the wobbly wheels. So if you like, I don't know. Let's try this matchbox here. Oh, that one rolls pretty smooth. They have like, uh, I don't know if you get the plastic wheels that are like almost like they drilled the hole just off center. So they kind of have a wobble. I have gotten almost none of those in this line. So these wheels seem to have a little bit higher quality control. We just need them to carry that quality control over to these tampos. Holla. Okay. All right. Let's see the rest of these. Okay. Batman line, Batmobile. We'll go through these fast since there's really 
no new castings in this. They're all repeats, so we're just looking at the detail of each. So um, I am looking at forward to collecting all 20 of these because I know in the next wave is the purple 66 Batmobile, and that is one of my all-time favorite Hot Wheel castings. I will collect as many of those as they release, which I'm probably part of the problem on that one. And these Bat, like these Batman lines at some stores, they just hang and hang and hang and hang. And I try to do my part and buy them. I'll buy doubles even, but usually they sit there for months, especially at Kroger. Like Kroger has had these for, I mean, they've had the old series. Oh, snap, for quite a while. But this is the, I'm trying to think which Batman this is. I don't remember which actual Batman series this is from, um, but this casting was released a long time ago. I think it was like 2005 or 2006 because it came out in purple. Um, it's not a bad casting. It looks great for a Batmobile. I like the double pods there, the gold wheels. Oh, no, they put the, ew, they put the stamping on it. I hate that. It's not too noticeable on this one, but like, why couldn't you like put it right here <laughs> or somewhere like out of the way? I don't really like that it's like right in the side of the car because they did that for a few years in the retro entertainment line and the Fast and the Furious Walmart line. And those are like top bottom tier cars for me because they did that because it ruined the whole look. I think the A-Team van they did in the retro entertainment had that. And I'm like, why? 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 Just I don't understand that. But again, an excellent rolling car. Very nice. OK. All right. The Batwing. I do not have this casting. Um, this is one I never bought in the premium. Uh, I'm a Batman fan, but this one is not my era Batman. I just don't like this Batwing. I like the animated series or the, uh, I'm trying to think, the Michael Keaton Batwing and the Batcopter, Batchoppa from uh, 66 Batman. But this one, um, even the, the Bat from The Dark Knight Rises is rad. This one doesn't really, to me, this looks like the X-Men's. Um, I can't remember what their what the X Men jet is called or whatever, but it, it kind of reminds me of that that shape, like the forward wings. But this is all metal. This is a pretty heavy casting. It's basically just a chunk of metal, but it's got red windows, a little bit of yellow detail, a little bit of red on the end of the wings. There, there is the uh, Warner Brothers logoing again. Why is it on the top? Put it on the bottom with the rest because it's already right there. It's built into the casting. Why are we getting it twice? Is it built into this one too? I mean, it is. Warner Brothers Entertainment. I don't know why we're getting it twice. DC and Warner Brothers. Uh, I mean, DC and Warner. Why are we getting it twice? I have no idea. I hate that. But this is pretty cool because it does have the 2016 Batman logo on it. Then, set it there. That is dope. For $4... That is a sweet casting. Like, that's a good release. And because all these similar, um, like the Rick and Morty, the Top Gun Jet, all of these have the same um, post that you can stick in there. Even the Hover Mode DeLorean has the same post. So if you have another, like the Bat or another Bat Jet you or Bat Plane you want to put on here, this will fit. And then you have a nice Batman um, stand for it. So I might even buy a few more of these to help clear off shelves just to get this so it has the Batman logo on it because that is pretty rad. So, okay, so we'll put that one there. Definitely worth $3 or $4. All right, the Batmobile from the Robert Pattinson Batman, which I really like that movie. I think the next one is coming out in 2025. I hope this Batmobile makes a return because it is killer. So there we have some uh, tampos on the front. I'm trying to look here. So this does have a metal chassis. It's got a weight to it. Pretty heavyweight. Um, this, the wheels I like less on these, but they don't look bad. They're gloss black. They are a 10 spoke total, five spoke, um, like a five double spoke. But look, uh, why did they put the trademark line on the car? This one is probably less noticeable because it's black, but it does have gloss black, uh, like mud on it. And then it has the white, like damage on the side. I think it looks good. This is one of, I like this better than the Tumbler. Uh, I really like this because it's based on like a real car, like probably like a 69 Charger. But I've done some unboxing of these and I will put some Batman video links in the description as well. But this also has, right? Yeah, the Warner Brothers and DC line. So I'm not sure why they're doubling it. But still to me, this is one I wouldn't pass up for the $3 price point because it's got all the detail, all the good stuff of the $7 casting minus the wheel. So if you're a fan of these wheels, 
highly recommend picking this up because this is a different casting than the basic. It's wider. Um, it's got some extra detail to it. Oh, and it rolls so good. Dang, that's good. That's a good release too. So don't sleep on these like kind of entertainment lines because there are some really nice castings in there. All right, so solid muscle. Let's check this out. This one does have the movable front splitter if you're into rolling and playing. Uh, good casting. I am a huge fan of this casting. I like it. I like the really squared off angular designs. It does look like a muscle truck, um, like a pro touring muscle truck. I really like that. It's got the huge nitrous tanks in the back. Um, pretty cool. Uh, I don't mind this one like that logo or that copyright line or whatever trademark it's got it kind of sticks out on this one because it's yellow i don't mind it i think it looks good as a robin truck if you like the theme stuff looks good it's got two different art so that one he has his arm down and he's like going to the right that one he's going to the left and he's got his right arm up i probably said that backwards but yeah two different art two different art styles on the same car which is kind of cool but those are uh pad printed tampos and you can see the graphics how they're a little misaligned so they kind of come off a little bit but there that side is better so overall this truck looks great though i love these wheels looks good these are the same wheels on the batmobile like look at that they look good spinning that is a nice car so we'll see we'll have to see if there is a chase for this line um and further down the line i don't think there will be but if there is definitely gonna have to hunt it down so Check that out. Did I, is, did I have been missing that? I have been missing that. So I don't know if you can see this. Hang on, let me look. Where were the Japanese cards? Hang on. Let me look at the Japanese cards real quick. So it appears, at least on the Batman cards, I don't know if you can see that. Right here, there is a gloss protector built in like printed on the card right there so that when the car is against it it's not rubbing the paint off and that i believe is the first time i've seen that on this line i haven't opened now i haven't opened the wagons or any of the other the portion stuff um but that's kind of interesting i don't know if i've seen that before and i don't i mean i, I don't think it's on these either Yeah, it's not on these. So that's interesting. That's kind of cool that they're doing that. That would be nice if they did that on all cards. I'm sure the cost is extra, but that's kind of nice. Let me know if you've seen that on anything else, because that's I think that's the first time I've seen that. So here is the Ford Fusion um, police car, Gotham City. Dun, 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 dun. So that is a pad printed Tampo printer style printer style so that definitely got printed too low that should be up like that triangle should be at the top right there um so those got printed way too low but as you can see like that says fusion right there or it's trying to say and it's rainbow because it's a printer tampo where on the sides like look how like gotham city like they have the bird on the seal they got the little trademark that's actually the same size as the fusion um but you can't read it at all same thing with the ford it's it's illegible it just looks so bad. Here, you can read the Ford. It's not bad, but you can still see all the rainbow pixelation because it's a printer putting together all the colors to try to make a design rather than just like stamping black on there. So there is a pad printed one that looks so much better. I really like that one. And then you got those. Blah. But overall, the car is not bad. Um, I think this makes a good Gotham City police car. And I like that they put tampos. Again, tampos all the way around. Side, roof, hood, back, front. Minus the, uh, <laughs> them being stamped wrong. A good release. It's not bad at all. So, yeah. You, get a whole, you could buy a whole bunch of these and have your Gotham City um, fusions along with your Gotham City chargers that they've released like five times before. You could have a whole squad going after Batman and Joker and Riddler and all those guys. So it would be cool to see what else they uh, bring to this line in 2024 because already we've gotten two stunners in this line. So cool. Well, let me know what you think of the, uh, what was it? J Sport? Is that what they called it? I want to make sure I'm calling it the right thing. Oh, J Import. The J Import line. Let me know which one was your favorite. Uh, which was your favorite from the Batman line? All of these are good. Um, the Japanese one is a stellar set. It really is. 
these cars are great. Two metal on metal cars for $4, less than $4, what a deal. So yeah, let me know what you think of this line in the comments, huge fan. I think the metal bumping the price up and including more detail is probably what we're going to see more of in the future. I Because I'd rather collect these than main lines because I'm getting a better quality product and they just are overall cooler. I will never stop collecting main lines, but I feel like this is kind of the direction that most collectors are headed towards is getting this like the silver line. This is a great addition to Hot Wheels this year. So again, let me know what you think in this comment. Um, I will link the other silver line cars I've unboxed below as well as some related content like Batmobiles, Japanese cars, Fast and Furious, whatever, um, in the comments below. So check them out if you want. And then um, I will be posting more soon. So until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.